Today we are going to read The Biggest Snowball of All. Emily opened up a word window. Here's what she read. One day Little Bear made a tiny snowball. This snowball is so small it will fit at the end of my nose, she said. She put the snowball on her nose and down the snowy hill she went. But the snowball did not stay on her nose for long. It fell off and rolled down the hill. As it rolled, it grew bigger and bigger and bigger. Stop, cried Little Bear. But the snowball rolled down the hill until it bumped Raccoon. What a big snowball, said Raccoon. It will make a fine head for a snow bear. Good idea, said Little Bear. The two friends went right to work. They made a bigger snowball for the middle of the snow bear. And another snowball for the bottom of the snow bear. It was the biggest snowball of the three. Then they put all three snowballs together. What a fine snow bear, they said. Just then Rabbit came down the hill on her red sled. Watch out, she cried. Little Bear and Raccoon jumped away, but Rabbit bumped into the snow bear. Off rolled the snowman's head and down the hill it went. Jump on my sled, said Rabbit. We will catch it. The three friends hopped on. The smallest one in front and the biggest in the back. Away they went. When they came to the bottom of the hill, guess what they saw? The biggest snowball of all. It was so big that Little Bear said, Let's build a snowball house. They went right to work. Little Bear made a wide door so they could get inside. Raccoon and Rabbit made two narrow windows so they could peek outside. Then the three friends went inside to play. They played for a long time. While they were playing, the sun came out. The sun was hot. Guess what? The biggest snowball of all began to melt. It grew smaller and smaller and even smaller. Soon, the biggest snowball of all was very, very small. It was so tiny that Little Bear said, It will fit on the end of my nose. And it did. <laughs>